Hi, I'm Mark, and I've been studying Japanese at Latutor for three months. I wanted to learn Japanese because I hope to move over there as a teacher, at least for a couple years. And although teaching itself doesn't require that you speak any Japanese, I think in order to kind of enjoy your life and immerse yourself in a culture, um, you need to understand the native language. One of the biggest benefits of Latutor is that you focus a lot more on conversation. Um, I had taken three years of Russian at a traditional school where you learn a lot about um, grammar and punctuation and reading and writing and you spend so much time focusing on sentence structure and grammar and things like that you don't learn nearly as much vocabulary and um, as much functional conversation. I, I spent a lot of the time in Russian just you know figuring out what verb belongs where but now that I'm in the tutor I've learned how to order food, buy plane tickets, um, reserve train seats, things that you know you're gonna deal with in everyday life if you go to the country that you're trying to learn the language of. My first day I learned how to order at a restaurant, how to introduce myself, uh, a lot of different kinds of food. Kyoko Sensei is a teacher for Japanese. She teaches beginner and intermediate and uh, she's been a great help to me personally. I take um, private one-on-one -on -one lessons, an additional lesson per week and she's been very accommodating and kind of taught me everything I wanted to know and I think just the private lessons in general, no matter what language you take, are going to be extremely helpful because you can kind of dictate the pace of the lesson, uh, clear out any questions you had from the week, you know, maybe you didn't understand this sentence or that sentence or the word order or something like that. So I think it's very helpful that way, kind of keeps you moving along the right path. Kyoko's also been very helpful in terms of um, kind of showing me what things uh, culture-wise, what kind of Japanese things you can do in and around Phoenix. Like she told me about the Matsuri in February and uh, the Japanese Friendship Garden and those are just a couple cool things you can kind of do around here. Schedule-wise too, it's been great for me because I, I have a 9 to 5 job and uh, I spent almost a month looking for a college that taught Japanese at any time later than 3 in the afternoon and I had only found one and college tuition gets a little pricey going to the classes and it, it's it's kind of a big commitment even to take one college class. Having a native speaker as a teacher is a great help too. I had um, an American as my language teacher in my other class and just pronunciation wise if you know if an American's teaching an American you kind of pr uh, pronounce things the way you would with the English alphabet even though some of those sounds might not necessarily exist in the language you're studying and whenever I would watch um, like Russian TV or movies or something I would always have a lot of trouble understanding the words even if I knew what they meant but uh, it, too, they, you know, it's a native speaker so you hear the language as it would be spoken if you were to visit the country that you're studying and I have watched you know a pretty good amount of Japanese TV since I've started class and I'm already uh, kind of picking up on the sentence structure and being able to break apart the words and I'm understanding a lot of the words that I've learned so far and you're definitely getting the most out of your time spent in the classroom.